Our spectators, viewers that do not know you, please introduce yourself briefly. I'm uh, Dubal Spork. I'm a director and chair of the board of MBM. We're um, construction cost planners and managers. Um, so have a very broad experience in infrastructure development and uh, particularly rail and road. Uh, yeah. And you are here in Belarus, or where? Just explain where you find yourself. Uh, well, I'm in Belarus. Uh, this is my first time to this part of uh, of the world, and it's uh, quite interesting actually. You know, the, my expectations of Belarus um, uh, were very different to what I've seen, which is actually a, a reasonably well-developed economy and uh, obviously a growing economy. It's very, very impressive to see. Yeah. And climate is quite different from uh, what you are used to back in Australia. Yes, we've come out of 32 degrees of Celsius of heat to uh, minus two, but. Uh, the cold's refreshing. Yeah. Thank you. And you are here with the aim of? Well, I'm here to look at the uh, economic uh, benefits of the system. So my um, my background is analysing costs, both construction costs and operational costs. So I'm here to sit down with the team from Skyway to look at their costs and how they've developed them, as, uh, and also their operational costs, um, because. One of the great benefits of this system is it's substantially cheaper to, to construct than a normal light rail or heavy rail system. And if, if uh, we're here to verify that, and if we can verify that, uh, it, it will show that uh, there's a big future for this in, in all countries of the world, um, in both uh, public transport and freight transport. Yeah. Uh, has your experience here been positive? Uh, in other words, do you see a potential for the Skyway technology? in your country? Yes, it's very impressive. Um, you know, uh, obviously we're new to the system, so there's a, there's a lot of questions to be had, but every time we ask a question, we're getting very good solutions and answers back, so it's, it's, it's looking very positive, I think. And um, there, there is particularly in freight, but also urban transport, a lot of opportunity for this type of system in Australia. Thank you very much. Your opinion, to, uh, your opinion is uh, very available to us. Thank you.